Let's get out. Ooh, whoa, anime glasses. All according to Keikaku. Alright. Ident identify Jibril Albara Chateau. Get a positive visual ID on Albara. Intel suggests an ally of Shahid Jabir al is, is hosting a fundraising banquet at a chateau in the Italian countryside. Infiltrating the estate shouldn't be difficult, but once there, you'll need to scan the guests one by one to, inf to identify al -Bara. While you will be equipped with a sniper rifle, you, uh, you should only need it if you encounter resistance. The rifle is equipped with a digital scope that can upload images of targets to your handler to check for a match. Once you've identified Albara, leave the premises or deal with him as you see fit. I mean, he's a sniper rifle? You in place? Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out. That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Albara's meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Not really a surprise, but I just don't have a lot to look at right now necessarily. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Da, da, da. That's our three settings. This will be a very different kind of mission. A nobody. That's not nice. himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. This is a very different kind of mission. Kind of thought we'd get in a suit and infiltrate as a guest. Alright, let's begin. Shaken, not stirred, all that. He's behind a tree, it's impossible. Ah, my nemesis. Dr. Treington. Fuck. Well. Security guard. He's clean. Dutch flower baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. But that's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. Wow, way more of these characters are actually not security guards, but dudes that matter. And are here well, for reasons. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of her. All right, Mike. It's her, re her reaction to women is so judgy every time. Everyone else is a fucking crime lord and she's underdressed. How dare she? A Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. She just ca she just casually rattles off all these crimes and issues that people have so like dispassionately, but every time a woman wears revealing clothing, she's like <laughs> <laughs> the true villain of the story. Get her. Private security, ex special forces, not our man, but definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for him? No, I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Mike, be very careful. I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. Am I supposed to stealth somehow? I feel like all I do is walk around, I'll slowly highlight everybody. Are there negative things that can happen to me right now? 
serves on the board of directors for the Christian Islamic Confederation. <laughs> He's practically a saint. Keep looking. Is the person going to show up very briefly and I have to catch them in that moment or I fail the whole mission? I'm not sure. It feels like the entire game is just waiting for me to scan every single person. Ah. An American novelist. He's got a bestseller right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Oh, is it any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, nothing on him. But movies ruin everything. Also, that's not usually necessarily a movie. Feels like a great way to get outdated information too. You wait, first it you know, takes a while for the book to come out about the current political climate, but then you wait even more years for the movie based on the book to come out. He's a curator for one of the museums in town. His latest exhibit on the Crusades has drawn some fire, but otherwise he's clean. I think a lot of the character models are repeating. Makes it a little tougher to tell which ones you haven't scanned yet. Oh. Fausto Bacce. There's a bunch of upstairs windows, but they all seem empty. I have straight up never used a sniper rifle before. I think one or two times I ordered the dead drop because the option was there, but I never found it. Uh, I don't see what to aim at next. Identify Alibara. I wonder if we're there yet. Who's the local cell of Shahid? Who, as a suspected terrorist, I may have not wanted to... I may have not wanted to, uh, release. But, you know, spur of the moment, things that happened. Still, we also thought that he was working with Halbeck, and instead, everything's... Like the... yeah. Like the context of what's happening keep changing. I was inclined to not carry out my mission when I found out that the pretenses of what was going on were false. Makes me a little concerned about the whole believed to be a cell leader part. Well, this kind of blows. Why am I not looking? Is he on the roof? I...
Oh shit. Were you here the whole time? Were you there the whole time? That's Albara. That's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And. Mina, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of Al-Samad, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out or we can abort. It's up to you. But you're saying... So you're saying all the evidence that he is a member of Al-Samad and Dirty and so on was added seemingly anonymously to his record right before I went on my mission to Saudi Arabia. So it feels like Halbeck just wants these characters, these people taken out because they put fake intel on their stuff. They might, like, it might be that neither of them are the terrorists they're supposed to be. They might be up to other shit, but not that. It all sounds like false intel. I'm aborting the mission. All right, Mike. Interpol says he's clean, the state says he's dirty, but all of the state stuff isn't sourced and was added but without the chain of the correct chain of custody on the data. That does mean I essentially just did nothing. An important email has arrived. Chinese government officials today announced that the People's Republic would issue sanctions against any nation recognizing Taiwan as an independent state. The Chinese have always held the official position that Taiwan is merely a breakaway province. But with Taiwanese President Ronald Tsung's calls for official separation from the mainland, Chinese officials are growing nervous. When asked what form economic sanctions might take, the Chinese ambassador to the United States said, quote, We will take all actions deemed necessary and appropriate to safeguard Chinese sovereignty. Yeah, I don't know. She also has shoulder-length hair. I think she is the same person. So yeah, there's just a weird discontinuity of how she's getting around. What's going on? Oh, he wants to meet. Are they suggesting that they think that I haven't been checking the email between every mission, into, like, along the way? Like, people could just play the game that way? I didn't know you were a local fascination. Mike, just a heads up. Someone's been running a lot of web searches with keywords Mike Thornton and Michael Thornton in the Milan area. Whoever did it... Whoever is doing it, is did it through a Halbeck Milan office computer. Though they used a public terminal, so I can't trace it back to a particular end user. I'll let you know if I find more. We need to meet. Mr. Thornton, if you stalk a man with political and criminal connections, kill him before he uses his contacts to track you down. I know that you were lurking outside the chateau, but don't know why. Consider my interests piqued. I refuse to let you intimidate me. Let's meet face to face. See if you have the guts to kill me in broad daylight. Meets me at the cafe, tree on full. If you stalk a man with political and criminal connections, just coming out and saying, <laughs> why would you say that in an email? Hey, Mina, I got this email from Jibril. Seems a little odd that he found out who I was, and odder still that he wants to, that he wants to talk to me. If you have a moment, see if you can trace his email for me and pull up some intel. Thanks. Yeah, that's what I thought. That probably made no money. Dossier on Conrad Marburg. Spent so much money on these dossiers, but I want to look at them. Secret fact. Jibril is a confirmed cell leader of Al-Samad. 
And while his sympathies clearly lie with the terrorist organization, the State Department has, implica has implicated him in various financial corporations, sta uh, corruption state scandals, but this information doesn't match Interpol's financial records on al -Bara. Strangely enough, the State Department's evidence was added to al file a few months before Operation Desert Spear was set in motion to deal with Shahid. So now they're confirming that he was, that he is a terrorist. But we're citing the State Department stuff that apparently isn't reliable. But it's fra uh, this secret fact thing always feels like it's framing it like it's this is the truth, like it, we've nailed it. But it sounds like it could still be a lie. I don't know. It sounds like a mess. <laughs> Marburg still carries out VCI field operations. And judging from the debriefings, he's a one-man army. He's carried out operations in Kuwait, South Africa, and was believed to have been involved in an oil refinery explosion in Moscow. In each instance, he was in and out quickly and efficiently. He still does that at the age of 60 fucking five? God fucking damn, man! Impressive. Learn about how Buck and Al Samad presence in Rome. Meet with Jibril al Bara at a cafe in Rome and find out what he knows about Halbeck's presence, presence in the city and how Hal Samad may be involved. No sign of Albara yet. Maybe he stood you up. I don't know. Something feels wrong. Hmm. Well, stay alert. I'm starting to trust your instincts. Sorry, that's... Switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. Transmitter's off. I don't plan on reaching for my gun unless you make it necessary. Once I have the information I need, I plan to leave. You will not be harmed. Perhaps you thought you could enter Rome under the radar. You almost did. But you broadcast your location. Eventually. I had to. You were my last lead. I'm here to find out what Halbeck is doing in Rome and their ties to al -Samad. And what led you to believe that Halbeck has any interests in Rome or al -Samad? Are you denying that either one is true? I do not believe you would have come here without evidence. And what makes you think that? You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program's secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. You were involved in the field testing of several prototypes for the government. A tech specialist. I'm an operative now. After Saudi, I had to change my five-year plan. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. And you were the one who crossed paths with a German mercenary in Moscow. Z. I get around. And she was a little insistent we get together. I am not surprised. She is a mercenary, but hardly professional. Or discreet, it seems. Have you two had dealings before? Contract disputes only. So you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, Toady, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Yes. You, on the other hand, have managed to enter Rome quietly. I didn't know you were here until an hour ago. You're skilled at keeping a low profile. No murders, no public announcement. Very impressive. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. 
In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders, and I am a cautious person. So am I, and I think we have room to negotiate. No, I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out your mission, and I stay out of the way. Yes. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes, and that does not change my terms. I understand your feelings, and I encourage you to set them aside. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. You don't seem like the corporate stooge type. In fact, you seem like someone who doesn't take orders at all, especially from someone like Leyland. Are you questioning my loyalty? I am, but not in the way you think. I've read your dossier. From where I'm standing, it doesn't seem like Halbeck's any better than the governments that you've served with. In fact, they're like a government unto themselves. And if you think for a second that they give a rat's ass about their employees, then you're twice the fool. Do you seriously think they wouldn't leave you out to dry if they had to? Your attention to detail and history borders on obsessive. <laughs> you may live through this after all. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Well, he is an interesting character. It seems my previous choice was a not particularly important one, because no matter what, he dies. Maybe that's why the dossier suddenly updated just to confirm his identity and just say fuck it, because the ambiguity goes out the window, because he just dies anyway. Well, this guy's interesting. I also seem to... I think I raced all the way to 10 with him. He likes me. He really you likes me. Into Rome almost without us noticing. You were even more difficult to track after that. Between Halbeck and local authorities, the locals were the tough ones. No matter. Mr. Marburg found you. That must have been a surprise. Meeting up for lunch like that. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? We discussed business. Turns out both of us have experience with abuse of authority. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> Oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. And I guess now it's time for them to do the legwork of proving that to be true, because... We may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, 
I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? I want to know why she's looking for me. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? No, Miss St. James, this is Michael Thornton. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I don't believe we've met before. How do you know my name and why are you calling? I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? Of course. I'll send you the address of a local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon, Miss St. James. What's gonna happen to her? Which is probably our fault. Let's find out. Additional device slot. Faster brilliance cooldown. Not the biggest priorities, necessarily. In fact, just getting even more health. We've always known that kids enjoy candy. But what are some of the downsides to this link? A recent study by scientists at the American Medical Association has linked the consumption of sugar to hyperactivity and inattentiveness in kids, especially when combined with an empty stomach. Apparently, after normal healthy children are given a great deal of sugar, their bodies release vast quantities of the hormone adrenaline, which turns even the calmest child into an uncontrollable hellion. According to one researcher, we gave them a bag of candy bars, and then in like a half hour they were running around being crazy, end quote. Researchers managing the study recommended parents attempt to reduce their child's sugar intake, or at least balance it with other snacks containing fat and carbohydrates. Like chips and pretzels, right? Yes, Melissa, that would probably work. But parents should remain aware of the dangers that sugar poses to their children and their families. Well, that's certainly food for thought. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. That was really funny. Like, it was, it was uh, performed funnily, and it's like, sugar breeds demon children? But actually, the premise is false. Because sugar doesn't actually lead to that reaction from kids. Not, not for that reason, at least. At most, it's just there's the idea that, like, they're de they're denied access to this particular thing, so when they get this rare treat, they have, like, an endorphin rush tied to, you know, it's like, it's like the Skinner box effect. Like, you get, you, you, you get this, like, r this reward at random intervals that makes you feel good about things that you're usually not allowed to have as much of and so on. But, like, the sugar itself doesn't make people, like, freak out like that. More from the CIA. Heads up on Georgia. Attention. We're hearing some chatter from the CIA about a Georgia situation. It's an internal affair, so it's not subject to interdepartmental sharing. It is, of course, in our best interest to stay informed. Here is the situation in brief. Someone's claiming to be a deep mole reported in a, a rogue a U.S. agent operating outside of the U.S., thus the CIA being in charge, not us. The mole did not say which agency is involved, making this a very short, in, uh, shot in the dark operation. The mole used an NSA verification code when contacting the US government to prove his identity as a mole, which is why it's total bullshit that we're not in the loop officially. The rogue agent was alleged, alleged to have been operating in Saudi Arabia, possible link to the Shahid incident? If you find anything, send it to me first. Don't share it with the CIA without first coming to my desk, Clark. Hmm. They're using codes and everything. So they're, they're talking about a rogue agent, which is me. But there's some kind of deep mole giving out information. If we still keep running with the idea that I had, which is that she's the one that's behind a lot of this stuff, which could still be full of shit, but I'm still just clinging to it, then uh, she might be the one who is this deep mole that has access to codes and so on. Is also sharing information about me because she actually does know about me. I noticed that Mike didn't bring up at all about how like 
Mina's life is being threatened. Like, we didn't discuss that. There's no moment where she's like, I understand, but I want to keep going, or whatever the hell. Like, we just didn't bring it up at all, which seems a little distressing. An intercept for you. Hey, Mike, take a look at this email, but take it with a grain of salt. It's an Al Samad transition. A transmission. The sender IP checks out as coming from an area where Al Samad have been alleged to operate, and the codes used are those seen in prior Al Samad missives bounced around Europe. What's odd is that I've never seen Al Samad communicate to an email distribution list this large. Their cells never talk to each other to minimize what information will get leaked should someone be interrogated and cave in. So with that in mind, read on. We meet at the ruins. Time code Algol. Agenda. Distribute weapons from recent acquisition. Discuss agenda for next phase. Contact Madison St. James. More dossier. My money is only going down and not going up, because I'm basically not even getting to do real missions lately. But new costs keep popping up. So I guess I'll just never make progress. Whee! Deus Volt, Marburg's agents. United States Corporate Special Forces. Named after Marburg's signature catchphrase, Marburg's agents are often former government agents that have been enlisted in the VCI. And then were subsequently promoted to Marburg's personal staff. Many of them have been trained by the US Department of Justice and then by Marburg himself. They present a threat for even the most hardened espionage agent. While not given to using heavy firepower, Marburg's agents use small f arms fire with surgical precision. SIE bears no love for Conrad Marburg, despite the fact that she works with the VCI. Something that anger is one will make the other well disposed to the person responsible. So many characters. He's defeated. I didn't even do it. <laughs> but he's listed as defeated now. Though Madison hasn't been at the VCI branch office long, her work ethic and skill has caused her to be assigned as Marburg's executive assistant in Rome. Marburg goes through assistance rapidly. She has access to sensitive material. Though as most of it is in code, she has little idea what most of it meant until finding the file on Michael Thornton. She doesn't seem to know the full extent of what the VCI do besides recruit ex-military and offer up private security. Reputation 8. We, we almost made it to the top, top, top. He's a- Mar Marburg's just a big old fan of mine. But he's a poor judge of character, so it doesn't exactly say a lot, does it? Contact Madison St. James. Meet with Madison St. James and find out what she knows about Marburg's presence in Rome, and how the Veteran Combat Initiative is involved in these plans. Use caution. There's not much in Madison in the records. This may be a setup. For meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Let's discuss what you told me over the phone. I know it sounds crazy. Where to begin? Just start at the beginning and don't edit yourself, just tell it. I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. What makes you think he intends to kill me? Termination contracts, even one for a man named Albara, a professor here in Italy. It was cross-linked to several contracts so within you have the VCI. contracts? That'd be valuable evidence. Not on me, no. I see. 
Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Miss St. James, I shouldn't have accepted your call. It's possible Marburg is watching you, along with other employees. Then what do I do? I believe your boss is involved in illegal weapon trafficking, and I'm concerned with what he intends to do with those weapons, especially after that plane was struck down in the Middle East. What? Oh my god, I, I didn't realize. Miss St. James, you've only been employed by the VCI for a short time, and as Marburg's assistant, that's an important position, especially for a man of his influence. Yes. I was abroad studying art history, but when it comes to paying the bills, I thought I would apply for an administrative assistant position. The language skills helped. VCI does a lot of work with foreign governments. My point is, what you discovered is sensitive information. This could prove dangerous for you. I know. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for, but the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now, so where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg? Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? Passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... Miss St. James, you've already gotten into more trouble than you know by speaking to me, and that's my fault. However, you know Marburg, and you know what you found makes you a liability. Yes. I can protect you. I have a location in Rome that Marburg doesn't know about, and you can stay there. But in return, I need whatever information you can provide to take him down. But... Let me do my job. If I can expose him, you're safe. And if he gets by me, trust me, no one else can protect you. All right, Mr. Thornton. I can get you the address to the villa and the names of the files you need to search for. Then that's all I need. Come with me. Our previous flash forward conversation does not bode well for her future. Like, at all. We've always known that kids enjoy candy. <laughs> kids enjoy candy. Is she here? He's not on the balcony. There's just a guy holding a guitar. The end of music. Is that just like a staff member of the company that they're just like shitting on? Prize Printing Company. Oh, there she is. Anything on the news? Uh. Candy summons the devil and is possessing our children. That was the main one. This is kind of a different variation of failing the, uh, the uh, bookshelf test. The three paintings on the left are the same ones as, th as the three paintings on the right, but just in a slightly different order. I guess she's just chilling here. I got a few things I worry about with these secret hideout places. I guess that my organization must, must just have like a fuck ton of secret hideout places. So maybe they don't immediately notice that I'm using these ones, but you'd think that the fact that everything's like powered on and the computers are being accessed and so on would kind of give away my current location to some extent. Because I don't think this is just random hideaways we just grabbed. I think these are actually Alpha Protocol's locations. It's a little surprising that Alpha Protocol can't find me when I'm literally hiding out in their own hideouts, as far as I can tell. I'm, uns I'm unsure about that. But it seems like a hell of a compromise of one of those locations if I bring a civilian in here. I don't think this ends well for her. No email. That's even more unusual. Okay.
Investigate Marburg's villa. Uncover Marburg's planned operation. Using the intel gathered from Madison, you have decided to meet Conrad Marburg in his villa outside Genoa. You can't take the chance Marburg will destroy the files if you're spotted entering the grounds. So you've decided to use the direct approach. Walk through the front door and let them take you to Marburg. Use the opportunity to learn what you can. Take any action you deem necessary to deal with Marburg and his operation. What if they do kill my handler? Like, she's, she's currently my handler position. What if she replaces my current handler? Narcissist much? Thornton, my apologies for relieving you of your weapons, but I'm sure you understand. I wouldn't want anyone walking into my home with a gun either. I've been tracking your progress in Rome, and I've made a recommendation to my superiors. And? They dislike inefficiency as much as I do. You and I have a common goal, yet we're working at cross purposes. A common goal? How do you figure? Mike, I've been in your situation. You can't go back to the government. As for being left in Saudi Arabia, I think your superiors would prefer you not come back at all. Perhaps I need another employer. Halbeck rewards loyalty. I noticed that coming in. I mean, you will feel satisfaction in your work. You will have confidence and respect in your superiors, and they will show the same. We don't leave our people behind, Thornton. Nor do we throw them to the wolves when it's politically convenient. We could use agents like you, and you wouldn't have to hide or be hunted any longer. You would be doing the hunting. My situation has nothing to do with my mission or my faith in my country. Even if your country feels differently about you? It isn't my country, it's the people claiming to represent it. Assign blame where blame belongs. I see. A shame. I had hoped you would be willing to cooperate. But I haven't provided the right incentive. That was 10,000 volts. Beat Mr. Thornton until he can no longer stand. But leave him able to speak. This is what a repetition of nine gives you. But up, but up, but up, but it do, do, but but do. All right, uh, yeah, that one. I'm gonna kick these guys' asses. I'm not even good at martial arts, I just have this tank ability, basically. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh, there goes that. Alright. Yep! That's that. No, I just need my gear. Mina, do you read me? I'm here, Mike. Are you inside? Yeah, but they've got me locked in. Can you override the security systems? No, I can't patch through to security. I'm sorry, Mike. Would Madison or Z know the layout? It depends who you want to help you out, Mike. I can patch Madison through, or I can stay on the line. Just say the word. Actually, I was thinking about bringing in the big guns. What? Are you serious? Absolutely. She doesn't have any love for Marburg, and if there's anyone who knows VCI tech and Marburg's tactics, it's her. All right, Mike. It's your call. I'll transmit the frequency for her to use. Setting up the channel now. Good luck, Mike. Darling, and how are we? Enjoying Italy? Oh, my jaw hurts a bit. One of Marburg's goons took a cheap shot at me. And what happened to him, I wonder? Well, I beat the shit out of him. Nothing personal, I just don't like getting hit. 
And that is why I have such affection for you, Michael. I mean, they've already- oh! They've already hinted that it's bad to get Madison involved unnecessarily. Like, it might get her killed. Whereas, I don't really care if Z gets killed doing mercenary work, fighting various shitty people, and so on. This is the life she chose. The other person's a secretary. <laughs> but I, I lose two reputation points for one choice with Mina. I got double struck for it. Seems rude. Cool, activated just in time to not need it. Black belt achieved. They're not sorted chronologically, which is unhelpful. Plus one damage to all my attacks. Z is also immediately more entertaining than Madison, so right. got that going for it. I really wish you- I really wish you could, like... Fuck! It kinda sucks, but I don't think you can really dodge or block in this game. Just kinda rough. Fuck. Door. Door! Why isn't the door open now? Fuck you, game. God damn it. Why the door- why is the door not openable? <sighs> Alright, fine. Maybe if you go really far down the martial arts screen, you get real skills that are actually helpful. But as of right now, being unarmed by the story really sucks. Because I, all I can do is awkwardly just do the same punch over and over again and be like, Maybe it'll work this time! Shit, there's nowhere to go besides this hallway that he's looking down. That's not great for me. Fuck you! Fuck. Should have not done that. Yep. Dude, just pick up a fucking gun, asshole! God damn! James Bond did this in 1996. Why can't you pick up guns when you beat dudes? Dumb motherfucker. Ah, shit. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Uh, wow, why are you. Stop. I don't like the words you say. Why are we shaming this woman? <laughs> For like all the dumb reasons. Like she's probably a war criminal, but that's not whatever comes up. I can't tell if she if he's implying cruise missiles just because they're very large breasts. Oh, you can't go backwards ever in this level. You always get stuck going forward. Or if she or if she's trying to or if it's another comment on her age. His missiles are long, like sag. Like, are you implying they're sagging? Is that your point? Anyway, I got my weapons now, so this is gonna be a fucking cakewalk now! Boop. Everyone's so fixated on her basically imperceptible age. So I can't help but think that Michael's also doing that. Fuck! These are getting harder. There's no one to bring with the, the alarm. So at this point, I just want it to stop talking to me.
There we go. Give me all your money. No emails this time. I'm definitely paranoid that I've maybe missed out on emails before. Just because I'd have to watch for the A prompt coming up again after I've already hacked it. Whereas I'm, in many cases, ready just to move on. Assuming like, oh, I probably got like money or something. What's up with this painting? The fuck? It's just one person, it's like one woman just repeating over and over again. Like they had, they got a painting, but it wasn't like the right size for the art asset they needed. So they just fucked it up. And it repeats. We once again failed the bookshelf test. <laughs> I'm standing still. I was waiting for them to make the mistake of coming up. They just took a while. You guys are not very good at this. Well. That looks like a combat arena, doesn't it? Have there always been pools of blood? Brutal. Albeck, I have bad news for you. You got a problem. You're gonna die. Oh, it's a it's a statue of him, isn't it? What's up? Really? Oh no, a bullet hole. Oh uh, wait, what? Fuck you, what? What? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? I was about to make my joke about how the bullet hole is bulletproof, but then he shot me through it, and then I shot him through it. Oh, this game is so janky. Okay. So the door is bulletproof, but the windows next to it aren't, and they all look the same. And you can still shoot holes in the door, but they don't- but bullets don't pass through the door. Even though the, it does the cosmetic damage that's identical to all the other glass. That's fucking bizarre. I'm glad we get to the bottom of that mystery together. Whoop! Joke's on you, I don't need cover. My cover is my... Epidermis. Which is apparently just... a. Real damage soaker. Ow, shit. Duck and weave, huh? Dude. A plus bullet evasion, fuck me. <laughs> there we go. Holy crap, that was like a problem. He had like evasive maneuvers to the, down to a letter. I don't really care about the alarm. I think every time it goes off again, a new wave gets summoned, so I should just not ever take it down. At least it's not making annoying no noises. I think her advice was just make sure your gun is loaded and then watch for, I guess watch above was one thing. But like, make sure your gun is loaded? What kind of feedback is that? I can't get a shot. Err. Er. 
There we go. Are they coming up? Yeah, they are. Come up, come up whenever you can. He's going back down. Oh, I came back up. <laughs> Interesting animation he had there. There's still someone... somewhere... directly below me? Seems like it. Bye bye. How you guys doing out there? Hold it on. Unfortunate for you that my machine gun is now basically a sniper rifle. All right. Apparently stealth is for losers. Who just don't want to succeed the obvious and easy way. Oh, a sniper rifle. Was I supposed to be using this? Cool. <laughs> it's just sort of sitting there. Where do I go? Am I required to kill the one guy I missed? Oh, I think I was just I think I was just supposed to just come up here for a moment so I could take out Oh boy. Oop. That was accidental. Only a, only one grand? Oh. It's a pretty big game area, but nobody was playing anything on these tables. Oop. Hello. That's more money. Every single table has nothing on it. No one was playing anything at all. Alright. These have some... Yeah. Those are shaped wrong, though. They get too wide at the end. Oh, here we go. That's the one game that was being... This is the one table that was being used. But yeah, I think I, think I was supposed to go up there to use the sniper rifle to take out all the people in the courtyard, then go through the courtyard from downstairs. That's enough of you, sir. I think it didn't notice me, apparently. I think I hear a chopper. Oh boy. That might be a little bit more of a problem for me.
I thought my goal was to kill him. Why did I leave? Like, if I was there to get him, it seems like a poor choice to peace out of there. 